This is the trickiest of the basic plane exercise, but I think it's kind of important. Um, I think of these as twisted planes. So we're headed towards drawing forms, and between twists and arcs, you'll be able to draw ribbons very easily. And the trick to this is to use your basic planes, but start to think of adding a curve or an arc to one or more sides. And that's going to make things seem like they twist. Now, this sort of wonky plane shape doesn't really feel like it's twisting yet. So what I have to do is I have to add a little bit of a turning edge. So part of that plane is flat, and then I've bent that back corner forward. Then what I can do is I can use arcs and I can use S-curves to make things blend or bend even more complexly. So I'm always going to use a couple of straight lines with these plane exercises, and then I'm going to use one or two arc or S-curve lines to make things feel like they've bent. So here I've got this, this kind of complex bend where it feels like it's arcing towards and then bending, uh, bending back. So I'm going to create a little soft turning edge within that plane to help describe what's happening. Here, this is as if a wall is peeling down or bending over towards the back. So I've got basically two relatively straight planes, and then I'm going to arc that back corner uh, to make it seem like it's coming forward and down. It's like I'm peeling a sticker off a wall or something like that. And then to make sure that I'm getting that, I'm just going to do a quick turning edge to indicate where that bend starts to happen. If it were a piece of metal, that's where you'd st start to see a lot of distortion and reflection. Here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just turning it um, and making it go back in space and peel up rather than go back in space and peel forward and down. So you'll notice that the front part of this plane is sort of like stuck to the ground and the back is peeling up. So um, I have this time I've got basically one flat straight line and then I've got three arced lines and here I'm doing like sort of a double transition, one to describe the sort of ground plane where the ground plane ends, and then one where the bend continues dramatically. The next I'm going to construct this with basically four arcs. And this one is a more complex sort of twist because what I'm thinking is uh, that the diagonal is kind of straight and then it's kind of folding back and down um, and forward and down. So I'm creating a, a multiple sort of twist along along the uh, line from corner to corner. And this one's going to be critical to use a turning edge, otherwise it's not going to make any sense at all. So remember that when you're trying to do arc planes and things that curve, Within the outer boundary, within the contour, it's important to create a turning edge that describes the point at which the plane goes from flat to turning, or from flat to arc, or the most dramatic part of that arc. And this is also going to help you when you start to light planes and forms, because you're going to know a little bit about where that form bends and turns, especially if there's a continuous bend or a partial bend uh, in a form like a sphere or a ribbon or a cone or something like that. Um, and again, this one's kind of almost a quarter twist. And I'm thinking, oh, well, where does that quarter twist happen? It kind of starts around there and continues on backwards. So have fun and play around and play abstractly and ha and try out a bunch of these variations on the twisted plane exercise.